Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. So today I wanted to talk about uh, different types of uh, dry and freeze-dried foods which I've tried feeding my discus over the last couple of years. So I've tried feeding these foods not only to my wild brown discus but also to my stankers, uh, to adult stankers, juvenile stankers and even fry stankers. So we'll start with um, uh, this one. So this is uh, best uh, beef heart flakes uh, by Discus Food, so called super gross. So essentially these are just the flakes. I'll get some and you can see that essentially well they smell very much like beef heart. Sorry you can't smell it over there. So I've tried feeding it to wild discus with no success because my wilds never go to the top. They, they would never take any flakes from the top. The same was with uh, domestic discus. Uh, even some of the juvenile stanker discus, they would take other types of flakes, which I will talk about in a moment, but they will not take this thing. So the only way I can feed this is to add this to my beef heart mix uh, when I'm making it. So this is how I can make them eat this thing. Well, the other is uh, uh, Denerlis uh, Discus Soft. This is an interesting uh, type of food. So essentially these are really small and soft granules. I think it's also available in slightly larger granule size. And it's made actually of uh, insects, uh, some uh, seafood products and uh, other things so it's supposed to be well as well as some vegetable matter which is supposed to be really great for discus and my stankers uh, especially juvenile stankers they did love that a lot and they did grow up on this food quite fast well it's different with a uh, larger stankers and larger discus uh, because uh, the the size of the granule is a bit small for them, so I should probably have gotten a larger granule size for larger fish, but it did go well with smaller um, domestic discus. Wild discus don't really take that. Well, I have one Kurumukuri brown discus male that does show occasional interest in these granules, but it just depends. And the most successful type of dry food which I've tried feeding my discus is um, uh, tetra discus granules. Probably many of you have seen what it is. These are medium range uh, granules and it's very successful with both wild discus and uh, domestic discus stankers, younger, older stankers, doesn't matter, they all love it. It, it sinks straight to the bottom, they usually catch it in the uh, mid water, so they pick it up from the bottom, so they totally love it and they do grow quite well on it. Obviously they're not going to eat only this, so you have to supplement it with other types of food, but this is something that I have discovered that they would eat quite eagerly. Well, um, this is actually not specifically discus food. This is Hikari sinking uh, cichlid pellets and uh, these are relatively large sized pellets so they would work well with grown-up adult discus. They are about this size and uh, my wilds used to take it, well, not too eagerly, but they would pick it up once in a while from the bottom, once it gets softer. Uh, my domestic discus, uh, especially larger ones, would eat it, but again, they would not eat it as a main food, but they would eat it as a supplement, and particularly when they're really hungry. Uh, I, would, I also want to talk about um, tetracolor. Tropical crisps. I only have this sample, but I used to have a larger uh, bag before. Uh, this would be something that uh, domestic strains, especially stankers and juvenile stankers, would take quite eagerly. It's a relatively medium sized flake, which does sink after a while, so even if your discus do not take food from the surface, uh, they might pick it up from midwater or from the bottom. Uh, well, my wild discus have never showed any interest in this, so haven't been very successful. Uh, I've also got these uh, bug bites from Fluval, which are made from insects. 
and uh, neither of my discos, neither Wild nor Domestic have showed any interest in that. It, it, they, ju they just don't like the taste of it and uh, I've tried feeding it uh, consistently and uh, it just didn't work. So now let's talk about freeze-dried foods. And I'll start with uh, freeze-dried brine shrimp. I'll take one of them out. Uh, I bought this from Herons and if you're in the UK probably you have heard about it, but I don't think it's any different from other brands of uh, brine shrimp. And um, well, it's quite successful with juvenile domestic strains such as tankers. Older discus, uh, well, they're not very interested in that. The same goes for wild types of discus. They haven't showed much interest in this, so they didn't go well with older discus. And uh, this is um, freeze-dried tubifex, also from Herons. Uh, it actually, it's actually a quite small grade tubifex. You can see that it's kind of really tiny and uh, it hasn't been very popular with either types of discos I've had. Wilds normally don't like the taste of it and the same goes for domestics. I don't know, maybe the other brands of freeze-dried tube effects are more popular with discos, but that certainly didn't go well. And last but not the least and certainly the most popular type of uh, freeze-dried food for my discos are Australian freeze-dried black worms and this is something that all of my discos would go crazy about well clearly this is the most expensive type of freeze-dried food that I've had and it's just extremely popular with wild discos it's very popular with domestic discos it's certainly not an advertisement because I'm not getting paid for uh, talking about these foods but this is just my own experience do write in the comment section what was your experience with either of these foods or with some other types of food and see you next time.